I'm sure most of us have a number in our head when we think of the dream salary. And for many of us, I'm sure it's not a crazy high figure either. Just enough to not have to rely on others, to look after our families and be comfortable. That's the end result. Comfort. But maybe we're looking at money all wrong. Maybe we're looking at the end result all wrong. What if we rethought why we want to make money? There's nothing wrong with wanting to look after our families. Heck, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a millionaire. But this video is not about the amount of money we do make or want to make. This video is about realigning why we make money and what the true end result should be. A few weeks ago, I made a video explaining my money management spreadsheet. I explained that I used to be all over the place, not knowing what was going out of my account and when. And then I decided to organize my finances. But what I didn't talk about is why I want to organize them, why I want to take control of them, what the end result of money really is. I had previously mentioned that I was following Dave Ramsey's first few steps of his financial plan. And when he talks about his financial plan, he also speaks about this exact end result. And that end result is giving. Ramsey often says that giving is living. And that is why we should be trying to control and manage our finances. That is why we should be trying to be successful and have discipline. Have you ever given someone something and felt that feeling of warmth in your heart? It's a feeling that cannot be replaced by anything else. But our desires so often stop us from allowing ourselves to feel that. We're naturally inclined to holding on to things, to worrying about what will happen if we give. The truth is, as Muslims, we don't need financial advisors to tell us the advantages of giving. We all know that there are so many benefits in our religion about giving, about how nobody will be made poor from giving, about how giving protects us, makes us happy, earns us reward, increases our wealth, and so much more. And oh, how amazing it feels to receive a gift that you didn't expect. Here's a personal story of mine from just a few weeks ago. One of my good friends called me a few weeks ago at the end of a day to find out how I was. And boy, did I spill out everything I was feeling. You know when someone asks at the perfect time, you're just waiting for somebody to ask so you can just tell them everything. I said that Zachariah has been a bit tough today and we're absolutely shattered. And after I hung up the call, we opened the door sometime later and that same friend had had dessert delivered to us at our house telling us to just relax and now enjoy the evening now that Zechariah has gone to sleep. See, he may have only spent like a tenner on the desserts, but that tenner on the desserts left a massive smile on our faces and increased my love for him so much. And that is priceless. And really and truly, giving to others is just an act of giving to yourself. But what you're giving is a truer and more pure, longer-lasting happiness. See, a study of psychology by the University of Chicago found that participants' happiness did not decline or decline much slower if they repeatedly bestowed gifts on others versus repeatedly receiving those same gifts themselves. In one experiment, researchers gave students $5 a day for five consecutive days and told some to spend the money on themselves and made others spend the money on others. To cut a long story short, the end result was that those who were made to spend on themselves noticed that their happiness declined more rapidly than those who were made to spend on others. The researchers said that when people focus on an outcome, such as getting paid, they can easily compare outcomes, which reduces their sensitivity to each experience. But when people focus on an action, such as donating to charity or giving a tip, they instead experience each act of giving as a unique happiness-inducing event. And whilst earlier I mentioned giving gifts when you've reached your dream salary or organize your finances, you don't really and truly need any of that to start giving. You don't need a massive, deep wallet. Now that we've realigned our intention as to why we want to make money and what our end result for money is, let's set an actionable challenge. I challenge you after watching this video to do three things. And by the way, these three things don't have to be related to money. You can give your time, your effort, or something that you yourself own. Number one, give to someone you know. And this can be small. Some ideas could be ordering a Uber Eats dessert to a family member's house or some flowers from Interflora or going on Amazon Prime and getting them that thing that you know that they want. Number two, give something in private. 
Imagine the feeling of paying your neighbor's electric bill because you know that they're having a tough time or buying a new set of chairs for your local mosque or even mowing your grandma's lawn when she's not in. Number three, give to someone you don't know. So when I had the idea for this video, I had no intention to push a specific cause, but I think it's the perfect time to mention that as we know the situation in Yemen, I have left in our bio uh, the freshly grounded link uh, to provide an emergency pack to the people affected in Yemen if you want to go ahead and donate to that. Ultimately, when we're talking about gifting, it could even be giving away something that you own, something that you know will benefit someone. And here's a tip, give until it hurts a little. I'm not saying give away all your money, but if you're about to donate five pounds to charity, for example, but you can stretch it to seven and seven hurts a bit, do it. Or if you can only give someone five minutes of your time, try and give them 15. Or if you know that a family member or friend really likes your phone case, take your phone case off and give it to them. It will hurt a little bit because you like it so much yourself, but trust me, it will feel good. After all, we all know that none of us will have true Iman until we love for our brother what we love for ourselves. I hope this video inspired you guys to do some giving or to at least change your intention for why you want to work, why you want to make money. And ultimately, I hope it helps you to action the three things that we mentioned in the video. I will see you guys soon, inshallah, on the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.